Welcome to episode one of my apartment transformation series. Literally feels like Christmas all over again. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's breaking the wall. This is where I went absolutely horribly wrong. Next box. If you guys saw my first apartment tour, not much has changed since then, to be honest. Things are still pretty undecorated, pretty plain. And I thought it would be fun to just sort of document the process of me trying to make this space more my own. Luckily for Christmas, I got quite a few pieces of home decor. We're gonna unbox all of that now and I'm gonna add it to my space. Okay, I'm pretty sure like all these packages are from Urban Outfitters. That's a lot of what I asked for for Christmas. Aw, okay, cute. So this isn't really decor, but I'll show you guys anyway. I didn't even know I was getting this. This will be so cute to put on my nightstand. This is the five minute journal. It's just like daily gratitude journaling basically. So very cute. Box number two. Oh my God. <laughs> Something you might have noticed about my apartment, literally in the background of any of my videos, is that my walls are pretty plain. Like, I don't have any art yet. And I think that's part of the reason why it doesn't feel quite homey yet. I got this art print. I'll hold it up nice and close to the camera. It says Yeehaw on it. <laughs> I know it seems a little odd, but there are so many reasons why this is perfect for me. Yeehaw is a regular part of my vocabulary. It's like what I say when something exciting is happening. My phone case literally has a cowgirl on it. It's just sort of become like one of my running jokes, running personality traits to like embrace this whole cowboy hat type vibe, okay? And also this is perfect because my accent colors for my apartment are pink and matcha green. And that's literally the two colors in this print. So I'm actually thinking that this is gonna go in my kitchen. I don't really feel like it's big enough to take up like some of this wall space over here. Next box. Uh, yay, okay. I have been living in this apartment for like five months without a toothbrush cup. <laughs> I have been using my hands when I want to rinse my teeth. It's just been a whole thing. I tried to order another one before and when it arrived, it was, and I'm not even exaggerating here, it was literally the size of a shot glass. I was shocked. <laughs> so I finally decided to just order like a cup that would specifically be to be my toothbrush cup. It's a lot more yellow than I thought. I thought it was going to be more on the green side, but I still think it's really cute. Next we have this giant box here. Classic box within a box situation. If you've ever looked at home decor on Pinterest, you've probably seen this lamp or something very similar to it. It's like a cream mushroom style lamp. I'm so excited about this. I've been wanting this for literally months. It has this like spiral pattern, I guess, and it's like a ceramic material. How did I not think through the fact that it would need a light bulb? Bro, I'll show you what it looks like once I put it into place, but I'm very excited about all these items. I think it's gonna finally start giving a tiny bit of flavor to my space. Okay, <laughs> I just got back from the mailroom. Surprise, surprise, there's actually one more box. So let's investigate it. There she is. Can you tell I have a cream theme? I will say, ow! I will say there's one item that is on its way. That is gonna be my pop of color for this main room. It's like a pretty major furniture item that'll probably be in the next episode of this series. But for the most part, I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm very happy with the cream pieces. The reason that I wanted this was because I want a stool in my bathroom. I can't really picture myself sitting down in there all the time, like when I'm getting ready, but I think it'll just be nice to have under the really long vanity. So I'll go show you where this is gonna go right now. Holy balls, that's heavy. I need to get back to the gym. I actually think that this is a perfect little thing here. It could have been a little bit taller, but I think it'll work. It puts me pretty low if I want to sit, but I could still like look in the mirror and do my makeup like this. So it's like nice to have that option now. Also, I know it's like the smallest thing ever, but just having a toothbrush cup has made me feel like so much more of a put together human being. Okay. This is the first time I've ever attempted like a home project alone. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm trying to hang this guitar 
on the wall behind me. I've literally wanted to do this for months. I've been procrastinating it because I don't really know what I'm doing, so I should bring it a little closer to me, right? Wouldn't that be nice? Place screws through the mounting block. So I'm realizing I totally just ripped all the instructions. What? Okay, I guess these are drywall anchors. I'm a little lost but we're gonna go for it anyway. So I think maybe like here. How does that look? Does that look good? <laughs> we're gonna go with that. I hope that that works out. I need like a, a step ladder. Yeah, full transparency, I'm debating whether or not I need these drywall things because I don't really want to have to put them in the wall. I don't entirely understand their purpose. I feel like I'd be fine just screwing it in. Maybe that'll bite me in the butt, I guess we'll see. All right, future Brielle dropping in. This is where I went absolutely horribly wrong. Don't do this. <laughs> We're still gonna watch me fail at it though for entertainment purposes. Ah. not terrible. Is it a little lopsided? Maybe. Wow, that feels solid, not gonna lie. Now, going to attach the little hanger thing. What the frick? <gasps> Why is that taking out the screw? Oh my God, it's breaking the wall. Well, <laughs> you can see how well that has gone. There's just holes, there's just holes in the wall. Um, I'm gonna call in some help. <laughs> I'm concerned. It's on there? Yes, it's on there. It looks a little crooked. Is it crooked? This is your measurements. I just, <laughs> I just finished what you started. Today we have learned that I should never be trusted with a screwdriver ever again. <laughs> Turns out those little plastic pieces that I thought I would be fine without were important. And you're never supposed to screw something directly into a wall. And I've been schooled. <laughs> But my friend came in and saved the day and luckily the damage wasn't so bad that we couldn't still use the same spot. So the guitar is now on the wall. I'll show you guys that now. I'm a little embarrassed, but also very proud of myself for trying to do it by myself because like I said before, I've never done anything like this. I usually would defer to the men in my life and have them do it. So we love to see the attempt at independence. There she is. I think that this section of my room has so much more life to it now. I also put my skateboard back in this corner. I got a bed frame since my last apartment tour, which I'm loving and I have like a little New York hat. When I have some wall art there, I think it'll be really wonderful. I also hung up this print right here. It is in the corner of my bathroom. I think it looks really cute. I'll give you like more of a general view. I also have that like little Victoria's Secret bag here as like decor and I actually think it's really cute. Just another pop of pink for my bathroom. Very pleased with the placement. Something I did notice though is that there is this tiny bit of a barcode here. I hopefully eventually will adjust the print so that that's not showing. It's not super noticeable, but it is gonna bother me now that I know it's there. But also this is from Urban Outfitters. Like I expected more than for them to have like a barcode right there. So this little corner is where I ended up putting my lamp as well as the five minute journal that I got. It's all sitting on this cute, like, I don't even know how you would describe this texture. I guess it's like cementy type uh, nightstand. I think it's so cute. I do wish this nightstand was a little bit taller, but it's not the end of the world. I'm pretty sure this is new since my last apartment tour, so. Very happy with how this corner is coming along. And of course, we have the new guitar hung up right there. All right, guys, that is it for this home decor haul slash first episode of my apartment transformation series. And of course, at the end of it, I will give you guys a fully furnished, fully decorated version of my apartment tour. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I love you to death and I will not be screwing anything into my walls anytime soon. Bye.